Okay, first thing you need to do to take apart the system is remove the hard drive. That's simply done by pressing the release tab and lifting up on the drive. It comes right off. Next, you're going to want to remove the faceplate. There's a USB flap right here. Just stick your fingers in, lift firmly, it comes right off. There's just a few tabs holding it on, you won't break it or anything. On the top, it gets a little trickier. There are two holes right here. You need to stick in a screwdriver or a safety pin or anything that's a little, a little pointy but it has to be quite strong. And you want to pry this dark gray piece off of the white case and that's done by sticking it in this hole and basically prying it away from the case and it just pops right off. Basically you want to unlatch that gray tab right there. Next you want to get the side pieces. There are four filled in holes on the case. The tabs holding this gray thing on are always in between those holes. You simply want to go in there and unlatch them. And you have to do that to both sides. And as you do it, it'll slightly come off a little more. And then the last ones are at the back. Same thing, just go in between the filled in holes. And press off the tab. Sometimes you don't even have to get the last one. But in case you do, the last one is in here right above this little rubber foot. Just stick it in and pry right off. And that takes off this entire top piece. And the bottom piece is quite easier. Uh, just find the filled in holes. Stick a screwdriver in there. Pry them up. It may take you a little longer to do than me because I've taken this system apart quite a few many times. Or maybe it won't. Maybe you'll just open it right up first time. But all the tabs are very easy to find. Just go to the holes and fill them. Then you just pop off tabs. Now go back to the front of the system and you'll see little tabs that are being held on. One is here, there, there, and there. All you have to do is simply lift it up and slightly separate the system. And now the front piece will come off slightly. It won't come off all the way because you still have to get the back off. And to get the back off, you will see two very small holes right here. And five back here. Uh, some people have a lot of trouble with this. I typically don't, but a few times I have. All that you need to do is stick your little screwdriver, whatever you have, inside. And when you hear a popping sound, that means they come off. And then go to the other side and do the same thing. Sometimes they re pop on, you have to do them again. <sighs> like a dumbass, I re got this side back on here. If that happens, just take them right back off. And that will allow one piece to come off. You will then see the metal piece here. And you need to take out six Torx 10 screws to get off this other piece. But before you do that, you want to remove your eject button simply by pulling it off, otherwise you'll crack it off when removing it. Having your system upright, and this being the front, you need to take out this screw here, this screw, this screw, that screw, that one there, and this one. If you take out any other screws, you're taking out the wrong ones and your system is kind of going to fall apart. In order to do this, you need a Torx 10 screwdriver bit. I got mine like $5 at Home Depot a couple days ago, so they're pretty cheap. 
I don't know if you can see me taking out screws. You don't really need to. There's why you need to. don't need instructions. Once you remove the screws, put the metal side down. Otherwise, your DVD driver is going to fall out. And simply remove the top shell by taking it off. Just lift it. At this point, you will see your heat sink here, your system cooling fans, your DVD drive, and the system board. That's all you need to do to take apart the system in order to flash it. At this point, your DVD drive also just comes right out. If you want to, these two cables here come off, and your DVD drive is removed. That's all you need to do to take it apart.